Hey, this is Linus from the E-Terroristas. Um, I wanted to tell you guys about a nasty hack that we've been finalizing these uh, past few days. Um, so we're all for uh, scripting configuration and generally trying to shorten the development cycle turnaround to be able to code faster and uh, be more efficient. Um, so what we've done uh, in this case is to make uh, the branding work, which is uh, quite painstaking sometimes. Uh, to make that a little bit easier by um, taking the CSS code and making that more readable and uh, more manageable. Uh, we do that by way of using dot less or um, less. Um, I encourage you to read all about that. Uh, less uh, dot less dot org, I think. Um, so what we done actually that the hack is to take less, um, which is an implementation of CSS. It's basically code that uh, compiles into CSS code. Uh, take that into a SharePoint project and uh, put that into our build cycle so we can um, in deployment so we can actually have a have a very quick uh, turnaround on, on on deployment there. Um, I'm just going to show you uh, pretty quickly what's happening there. Uh, what you need to do is a few things. You have to get uh, extensions, uh, CKS Dev, and uh, Mindscape to make this uh, work like we have done here. Um, so Mindscape is uh, color coding and uh, a lot of nice stuff. You see this uh, less structure here. Um, so this um, less basically brings you a lot of things. Um, it brings you the ability to use functions, uh, variables, uh, mixes, all kinds of stuff you can read about. It uh, makes uh, the code readable. It makes it uh, very manageable. And um, for example, if uh, you take a look here, we use these variables um, to decide uh, certain things in the code. Um, uh, we change them in one place and uh, they get uh, actually they're changed throughout the whole scheme of uh, less files or, or CSS files through the project. Uh, so what we've done is basically take this um, less compiler, uh, make a custom uh, build event um, configuration and uh, put that into uh, custom deployment action that we made, which basically uh, uses CKS dev to copy to SharePoint root and compiles the CSS, uh, the less code into CSS, and uh, voila, you have your outcome of a CSS file. A single manageable CSS file, which we actually make uh, minified. I'll show you that later. and. Um, we only have to add that single CSS file to master page and we actually do that through delegates. Uh, so I'll show you what happens here. Um, this is the type of branding we've uh, been working with and you can see these links here are um, blue. And what I can do pretty quickly is just uh, change those colors and that's uh, that happens on a global scope like I said. Um, not going to be really pretty, but <laughs> custom build action, I just activate with the shortcut key, um, control shift uh, D in my case, uh, just show something easy to be able to do this quickly. So that's uh, started, deployment, it's copying to SharePoint root, compiling uh, less code into CSS, and that's done. And refresh that page. <coughs> voila <laughs> awesome color so um, yeah the outcome of the less compiler is a single CSS file uh, this compiled CSS file here and we we compile it as a minified code so it actually just uh, cuts out all the unnecessary white spaces control um, character returns line feeds and stuff like that uh, yeah so basically pretty easy manageable way of working with CSS and that's a pretty nasty hack in my view and quite tasty as well. Um, thank you.